why you have this first description that I wanted to provide to them for you all to review uh, <coughs> on so that we can get the parking lot done. So to ask to answer Ben's question, what would then if you want to do a not to exceed, you can say up to a certain amount of money, and then we um, make that motion to commit to the project not to exceed a certain amount, and then bring back for the hearing and resolution the resolution that council would pass <coughs> not to exceed, and then to address his concern, put it in there, make sure follow the city shall follow its procurement procedures to and the city can know. decide whether they want to do the work themselves or right. if they say hey our, our work is <coughs> spread thin because we're that's doing, their job we want to put it out for yeah. this what is my material you're just saying you're you're getting the mm -hmm. amount you're committing not to exceed today and so that you agree to mm -hmm. fund the project with an amount not to exceed and then we'll do the formalities at the february meeting Okay. And, and then the council cost. goes from there. We will have to do the budget amendment, but that's after second reading. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I just okay. want to make sure that we're following. Yeah. Yeah. Danny, Sherry, y'all are quite, what are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are we, we've been talking about uh, downtown improvements. Which is necessary. So we talk about it, but uh, it's time to you know, make it happen. But but nobody's, no at all. I mean, if we're going forward with it. It's just... Let's get the best deal for our bucks so we can spend more dollars doing more things. Yeah. Yeah, because I said we might we might do that and then like I said, those other bits come in because it's a people need work right now. And a lot of people that do this kind of work are in the area in the old field and they might come in and say, Hey, while we're on a downtime, they might come in for pennies on the dollar and Well let's give those names to to the city manager who will be overseeing the project. Yeah. yeah. So we need to be Sure, you have any comments about it? Questions? I agree we need to move forward with it. Yeah. Is that well? Okay, what 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 amount would we put? Would I, would, I, would, I, would, yeah. I would I would I would use two hundred thousand. Or do we use the material cost? I would go with the, with the material cost. I would think right with the number that's there. Well, the two. Yeah. Rounded off the two hundred twenty-six. Rounded off to two twenty-seven because she said yeah. uh, yeah. two twenty-six nine sixty-six. So yeah, rounded off. You, you, at the end of the day, you will be able to buy this material less expensive than it is if you just shop it. You'll get it done. A lot of people, they the whole material and do it and work. You tell it it's striking. That's <laughs> like, I tell it it's just, Oh, it's yeah. Okay, or, when you get it over two. So, yeah. So, um, you well, you can even right? pay, by, pay by invoice. So, so um, that could be, be put in there, too. But we need to commit to a, a number tonight, right? I agree with you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Does somebody want to put this in the form of a motion? or I make the motion. Um, make it alone. Yeah, I'm trying to find the board it real quick on. I'll make the motion for the Florida Economic Development Corporation to work with the city uh, to provide uh, funding, because I don't want to put it to material, but provide funding for the downtown project. Is there a name on it? Yes, it's, it's material. No, it is for materials. Materials. Okay, okay. materials. For the uh, to fund the materials for the downtown project um, parking lot. On that first sentence sounds pretty good to me. What are the street names? Yeah, on Did actually the alley between Third, B, Second, and C Street behind the businesses, and then the second project to fund the parking lot behind um, the alley and the parking lots behind Third, C, Second, and D Street. And with the city to do due diligence to procure the yeah. materials. At the best price we can possibly well, get. And price to exceed, 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 not, yeah, not, not, the and not to exceed the yeah, not cost of two hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars. And then be with the corporation. That should be. Mm -hmm. I second it. Mm -hmm. okay. We have a motion by Ben. We have a second by Sherry. All those in favor? Aye. Just make sure it's part of it's not that corner one. Okay. The motion passes. I think we all understand what we agreed to. Okay. Excuse me. Item number 10, discussion of possible action item. FDC accepts the request to fund the 20% $50,000 necessary for city to request $250,000 matching grants, 80-20 match to apply to downtown sidewalks and city parks to bring this into ADA compliance. With that being said, we, we've talked a lot about helping downtown. We've not done a whole lot about helping out now. So I think we need to take this very serious. 
Yes, uh, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I, I don't see, you know, $50,000 if we can bring our parks into compliance from the FEDC. I make the motion that we uh, grant the city request to fund the 20%, which is $50,000 necessary to get the $250,000 matching grant, 80-20 match, to apply to downtown sidewalks and city parks to bring these into ADA compliance. And Peter, this limits our exposure to 50000 right? I'll second that motion. Yeah. Motion yeah. I said 50000 Yeah, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, this is for us to do a, a grant. Yes, ma'am. The grant is actually, application is due in October of 2018 this year. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so, hopefully, uh, I need some type of resolution or something that I can put into the application and say, because they want to have either proof of um, the math that you have it, the proof that you have it. And so, with the same thing, what happened with the resolution that happened? Will we have a resolution? I just need something to say that. You know, well, it'll follow the same process as the previous uh, okay. uh, project. So it'll be a resolution as well. Right. But we could put the 50000 in a segregated account or something to identify if, that it's there. It fits into the same statute, uh, yeah. this project. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So we have a second and a motion. We did have a second. Yeah, have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. <clears throat> Item number 11. If it is a commitment to partner with the city to finance one half of costs to replace event center, sports complex, park lot, details to be worked out regarding actual monetary commitment and required procedural actions to consummate this commitment, except for order to initiate process as soon as feasible to get this done. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, ma'am. I don't have numbers on the material for the event center, he did not have an opportunity to come do that. He was focusing on downtown, but I can get the same kind of numbers for you to do. Um, the, count, the city council and Council Martinez is here, uh, is coming up with limiting how much they can spend out of hotel motel tax to reserve it for special projects. So the city has not committed a fund or amount. So once I get those numbers, we can talk about that. But I wasn't table, quite sure. Table, 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 make, a motion, okay. I make a motion to table okay. until we get the city. And the, the and numbers the numbers. I'll second it. So then, Councilman Ortiz, since you're here, can I ask if you sponsor uh, uh, on the agenda to discuss the city's participation to repay this one, right. that mm -hmm. it will come off this one, okay? Absolutely. And I'll have the numbers for the council as well. Absolutely. And if you would please identify the difference of asphalt or chips in. Okay. Please. Yeah, because I've come in order to Thanks. So, again, just a question here. Uh, mm -hmm. What are your estimates at this point? Now we're doing the better one, so to speak. And I don't know the terminology. Yeah. It, it, they call it hot mix. Yeah. Okay. So the hot mix, it looks like asphalt. More the hot than, mix yeah. was what the what you all discussed, and those are the numbers. But he didn't get a chance to give me those numbers. But I wasn't quite. I don't have a commitment from the council yet to say how much they're willing to participate because the way this is reading is talking about the city putting in some money, which will probably come from hotel motel mm -hmm. tax. Uh, the, this other things in the city doing, so I don't know what the commitment for the city would be. It'll be on our next agenda for them to discuss to give me direction, and I'll have numbers for them, and then I can take back to the board that EDC is willing to participate, and we want to see what the participation will be. To the tune of. To the tune of. Yeah. Okay. Once I have like the, what it costs to do this, then I'll know. What? What's the? Is there a target date for this? Is there any urgency to get it done by a certain time, or no? You know, parking lot take time. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Uh, if, if if we're looking for the next big thing we're going to have here is March 24th, that won't happen by March 24th. But no, I understand. It should happen before it gets hot. Definitely before uh, 4A has their wonderful Freedom Festivals in June. Yeah, July. we have the 4th of July. The fireworks yeah, thing the, it'll the, be nice. Yeah, it'll be nice for us to have it sometime before June. But it will be on the city council, and I know Mr. Ortiz will definitely be looking for that on the agenda. This is a project of his that I want to make sure that I'm yeah. And I think it would be beneficial because then you can hold a lot of events out here. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to inject one thought, please. Um, if it is kind of has a policy as far as the bid process, then it's just going to be, obviously the city's going to run this project, but not looking at our bylaws from memory, if a local contractor gives you a proposal within 10% of a downtown contractor, if they can do the same quality work, same quality materials, et cetera, et cetera, we 
lend toward the local contractors. So yeah. really it's like a to see this. Right? Yeah, maybe I didn't know much about it. Maybe it's five, ten, whatever it is. Yeah. The bylaws are reflected, but I think I would. I think we need to look at our local people, and if they can be competitive, I think we certainly need to consider that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And, and you, you, you need to have that in the resolution to direct the city. It's in there. Oh, well, she's here. No, go to the front week. I remember us doing it. it. Was it ten or was it five? I thought it was ten. Maybe it's five. No way. When we talked about we were doing the bids and proposals out at the industrial park, we made a, a, a deal that if a local contractor yeah. came within a certain percentage point of an out of town contractor, the same quality, 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 yeah. exact. I don't remember the exact. You remember everything. Come on. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember. No, I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I,
Uh, can you make a motion to table it, saying we're gonna we're gonna be back in the project? Or we no, just table it. Just table it until the next one. Okay, yeah. just uh, yeah. uh, bring it back. Yeah, if we have a, a lunch, whatever, you know. Uh, it, well, as soon as you get the numbers, numbers, I might have a special meeting. I feel uncomfortable just forward. doing something that's open ended. Yeah, I probably could have numbers in the next two to three business days, uh, but I'd have to take it to my council, and we don't need to get into the 22nd, I believe, is the next council meeting that I have, the 22nd. So I won't have any kind of institution the 23rd. But if you all are willing to have a meeting to talk about that, once I get the numbers, I will share them with this board. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess my point is, you can't do anything to meet with the council. So if we meet the day after the council meets, just to request it so we have a number that we voted on a number, uh, that's not going to hold you up, will it? I mean, oh no, I'll, I'll, let's say I have numbers the next two three days. It's just I haven't had a chance to meet with the entire. But council. what I'm saying is, once you meet with them, and we, if we meet simultaneously or the day after or whatever, yes, that's not going to delay your project. And as soon as I get the numbers, I'll share them with Mr. Baker. Because then you remind me to make sure as soon as I get those numbers, I'll share them, even before I take them to my council. Because I'm going to tell you, these are the numbers I'm taking to the council. Yeah, I think that's one thing we commit. We're working board, so we have These are the numbers I'm taking to the council, yeah. and I'm seeking for the council to approve this, and then you all have it. And when, when they get through, I'll bring it back to you once I have enough. But as soon as I get the numbers, I, get it, I just, ooh, I really want to have the approval. But well, I, I think the city can feel safe, you know, based on our workshop every day. That we're going back there's, there. there's a story. Yeah, you have, you have to support yeah, the people. There. I, don't, I don't have a problem yeah. with that. There's nobody having heartburn. There's nobody. What? Can we have a, a special meeting where we're, we're at the point where we know what we can do? Yeah. Money wise. Yeah, right at the 23rd. Mark the 23rd. The 22nd 20, the is our next meeting. Yeah. So the 23rd. Oh, so Friday. Have oh, I can't do that on the 23rd. Let's do it on the 22nd. Okay. Same night as the 22nd. Can we approve it Okay. Well, then, well, we could do it Monday. Yeah. Monday, the twenty-sixth. Yeah. I'll be out of town. I'll be out of town. I'll vote for you. You have the time. I give my part. I'll, I'll be out of town. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I give the twenty-sixth. Look, sure. If um, we can't get the council to approve the amount we need from the hot tax, where else would you get the money? Well, we could do something like. Hot tax. I have some. Can't use. I, can't, I have some repair money, street repair money that we can use, not out of the sales tax money, but the other money. And we didn't talk about labor because this is if we go out to bid. The number I have 450 is if we go out to bid and have a contract to do it. The city can bring in its portion to say staff can do it, as we talked about there. Yeah. So I'll have both numbers for you. Okay. Okay. Yes. Contracting it out with house. All those numbers so that we can pick and choose and take it back to the council so they can get this number to be a number that's amenable that we all can get. How many people call the meeting? Yes. How many people call the meeting? How many does it take to call yeah, the meeting? Special meeting. You can call it or, or it takes two? No, it, yeah, you can call it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can put the table in the ring. Yeah, you it takes two, but then he doesn't call. Yeah. So, that, that's what I'd say, it's just to table it. To the 26th? To the 26th. Okay. Yeah. Is there something sooner than that? Yeah, table to the 26th. Okay. Doing this month. Thank you. And I'm showing up we're going to meet on 26th. Everybody's under the understanding. Nobody's saying no. They're just saying, let's get the number correct. Yeah, yeah. Right. We understand. And, and, and each of us understands we can be here on the 26th, right? Second motion. We can be here on the 26th to have a report. <coughs> Yes. I can be here on 26th. Oh, yeah, it's going to be here. And motion made and seconded by Scott. All those in favor? What was the motion yet, please? The table. The table it to the 26th. Yes, sir. Okay. Again, motion by Ben, second by Scott. The table the motion to the 26th. All in favor? Okay. Opposed? Motion passes. Very well. Moving along to item number 12. Discussion of possible action item. Avenues commitment to work with the city in applying for low income housing grants to attain additional affordable low <coughs> income senior housing for Floresville. Also, FDC will work with the city to market Floresville to low income housing developers. Uh, I've been in touch with uh, with a lady that uh, at the Alamo Council of Governments and told her what we are looking for. I also wrote the uh, gentleman that owns the uh, 
senior village uh, asking, telling him that we need uh, more low income housing. Uh, I, know, I think I know the answer I've asked him before. And, uh, but I, I want to see, and uh, this lady is going to help me uh, try to find some developers that uh, we can turn uh, Floresville into uh, low income housing. So what was I'll answer? come back with something. What was his answer before? <coughs> uh, the, the state took away the incentives, and without it, he couldn't make any money. He's talking about the tax credit, but that's not to say that it's not going to come back into play. Yeah. I think it's temporary out of the loop because of the government shutdown and this, that, and something else. I've contacted several people myself that, that build these, these structures and take the tax credits, and they were the opinion that would probably come back into play at some point in time, and at that point they would be very interested in coming to Floresville and meet with the council and the, the board. Uh, I'm looking at several different um, grants to do housing. Uh, I remember when Ms. Steele was mayor and on city council, this was always been something she's been pushing, so I know her agenda has been changed. However, uh, in all of the grants that we're talking about, they're always asking for a commitment of a match. So it depends on the grants. And so uh, when I put together, and I'm asking for permission, when I put together an application to go forward, it, it sometimes it's too much of a massive city can incur, but I'd like to come back and have you all revisit it when I have an actual application in place and I have one uh, that's coming up very soon that I'm going to be putting together to present to my council. I have to ask the person if they want to apply, and then if they apply, I'm going to bring it back to this board. The other thing is that just recently, uh, I'm calling it the Lodi, because uh, I don't know what else to call it, but the low income the city's applying for because we received some funds from FEMA. Uh, we're up for a housing grant that's somewhere around not to exceed a million dollars and housing that we can help some people to do for. And that one is all grant, there's no match at all. There's no match at all. But we would like to um, bring that back to equity too as well to share that project with you. I'll let you all know what we're doing and maybe we can combine some different things together. Uh, but I should be hearing probably the next month or so uh, some movement on the housing. I was contacted last week by a group that's interested in, in uh, perhaps doing something off the loop when you want, and I will pass the information on to you. I'm going to be in the loop, but I'll pass you those phone numbers. So what's the action on that one? There's, not, There's really not because we don't have a number. I think it was more of a discussion out of information. But can we have a report that, so we don't forget it? Yeah. All, all the same there is that we, we can make the work of the city. You know? I, I think that's an uh, issue. Yeah, perhaps we can <coughs> make Without most of this is put on the next agenda so we can revisit it. For an update. Hope, yeah, for yeah. an update. Hopefully some due diligence have been right. done in the interim. And the government goes back to work. Okay. I'll, I'll make that, that motion that uh, the FEC makes a commitment to work with the city of Pine for low-income housing grants to attain additional affordable, low-income, and senior uh, living for Florida. And also uh, work with the city to market for the road to low-income housing developers. There you go. That's my motion. Second that. Okay. I have a motion by then, a second by Fred. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. And, and, and that's going to be I'm the only one from Lodi. Nobody else here. You're going to ask the Lodi, Senor? I used to ride my bicycle down there when I was a kid. I'm on the <laughs> house here. It's right for a second. <laughs> well, that was the original name of the town anyways. That's what I was saying. It was the, <laughs> that was kind of the cornerstone. <laughs> right. Way back when. That was the cornerstone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Item number 13, discussion of possible action item. He need to conduct inventory of downtown buildings to use in current and future downtown revitalization efforts. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a map at the, uh, on the wall that shows uh, this same inventory. Uh, and I apologize, but we're going to have to squint 
to read that. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, it's one of these that I've tried to print it uh, on the landscape, but it comes off in multiple pages, and then I didn't have time to paste it together and so forth. But basically, uh, here you go. Uh, basically, uh, what this shows is the ownership at, uh, identified by B and A and C on the map. <coughs> And uh, I've asked uh, Intrepid to give me the street address, who occupies it, the building size, the building owner, the owner's address. Does this cost us to do this? Cost us? Yeah, are we paying them, I guess? Yeah. And they're going to send us a bill? Intrepid? Yeah. Sure. 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 Well, I'm just saying it's something we could just do on like two automation and pull up. Well, we're set. Okay. We're setting a, a, a grid so we can okay. just have this, uh, you know, as a permanent. Whether the city can use it, we can use it, uh, and uh, so I, I think they finished with this. And now we need to decide, uh, having that information, uh, I can contact each of those owners. Uh, do, do we want to know if they're interested in, in selling or, uh, or what do we want to ask the owners or is it just the occupants? But basically, the owners are the ones that are going to decide. You need to speak with the owners, Tommy. Huh? You need to speak with the owners and see if they would like to either sell it, lease it, renovate it, or help them lease it, et cetera, et cetera. It's not even. Okay. Yeah, you have it leased for that. the next 10, 15, 20 years. It, I mean, it's, it's just sitting like here vacant, so mm -hmm. just yeah. ask them, well, would you like to sell it? Would you like to renovate it? Would you like to lease it to somebody? Would you like us to assist you in finding a tenant to lease this? And then you can do the, the remediation. Because yeah, I talked to a couple of tenants yeah. the other day, just in passing, and they're like redoing their bathrooms and doing stuff like that. So. Okay, I'll make those some part. Uh, Jim, those that are remodeling, what do they like to do with it? Like, uh, like, like Mr. Caldwell, I just saw them passing the other day, uh, coming out, and you know, he's. He rented to the city attorney at the city council meeting and said, hey, well, I have that next year building. I'm rebuilding the bathroom. I'll put on the mark to lease. Oh, okay. So, you know, it's just something like, oh, that building right there he got from Murray Title. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't step out Did you want to talk about the one, the one area that's not identified here that you all wanted to add? Or you, you don't want to add to the survey, the, the, the little block that's between B Street and C Street off of 2nd? Go right. no, so if you look on Third Street at the corner, can I, can I show it? Okay. So if I remember right, Christina told me that this is the uh, First Baptist right here. That's what. Yeah. What was it? The hardware store or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we the church comes that building now. Yeah. We just saw that, but but I didn't know. If you all wanted to go, not, not necessarily on this side, but on this side up to Mata, Mata's, I get them confused. Yeah. Well, like, like I said, where? behind Mata's, over here towards Second, there's so, an empty building there. So did you yes. all want to identify this block as well? Yes. Yeah, because you have like, where Post Plumbing used to be, this warehouse right, right here. Mm -hmm. Right. You have Mrs. Andy, she has a, a stuff that she always has out for rent. Okay. So you all want, used to be? as we're looking at, yeah. look at it's a fire inventory, suppression system now. It? we want to include this block right here. Yeah, maybe yeah, it shows probably just one building there. Just the, the one commercial building, right? Well, well you have Mata's. Yeah. You have that building. You have a yeah, but empty, Annie's. But empty. Empty. Yeah, but you can still identify them. Yeah. Yeah. But this one right here, this block. Yes. And then um, this you block. Part of this. <laughs> and this <laughs> block too, because this right here on the corner, this has a. Uh, oh, I shouldn't point with the finger. This has where that guy has built the suit. Right there in the corner, across from the. That Mr. Place. Harrison owns. Oh, okay. And then right here across the street, you have Mr. Like Mr. Smith, he has that for, for lease right here on the yeah. corner. Yeah, we used to be flush in the corner, so it's, it's for lease. 
So just <laughs> identify some First, of those. So would you want to identify that as well over in here? Yeah. Because okay. if you go down this way, where the red barn is, that's for sale or for lease. And then also, like right across the street, those buildings where used to be the uh, Strack, that um, oh, yeah. is for lease. Those two buildings right oh, there are for lease. Mm -hmm. So you want to expand it to include that as well? I mean, I would do any retail space downtown. Just okay, because we're just trying to yeah. see what. what